Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a long time. Well, not necessarily a super long time, but I was in Tennessee, so I couldn't make videos. Um, I'm sorry, I'm back. And I might, I'm gonna probably make a format change for the next video, so stay till the end where I will tell you what I'm doing with that. But let's get into the game. So, the refs. For the most part, they were on our side. I, I think when it came to shooting fouls, just basic shooting fouls, they were definitely on our side. Um, Sabonis actually got, you know, fouls that he should have gotten. He wasn't getting relentlessly whacked without anything being called. But at times, the Wizards were, um, and they weren't really consistent. They were more on, si more on our side when it came to shooting fouls. Flagrant fouls, though, as per usual, the refs don't like us on flagrant fouls. Um, I don't think either of the three-point uh, foul shooting fouls should have been flagrants. Justin Holliday's, it wasn't, it wasn't a flagrant. Yeah, rightfully so. But when the Wizards had the same thing, it was a flagrant. So either call both a flagrant or call neither a flagrant. I would rather have neither be a, fl a flagrant because it wasn't intentional. You know, I get player protection, but that's not a flagrant. It's not intentional. It's punishment enough to give up a four-point play. You don't need to give us a technical. You don't need to give them a technical to tell them that that is bad. I mean, a flagrant, not a technical. A flagrant, like, it's, whatever. Um, out of bounds plays, yeah, they didn't like us on that either. But for the most part, they were on our side. And by out of bounds, I mean like uh, calling if a ball was Wizards ball or Pacers ball. They weren't really friendly with us on that one. But other than that, the refs were on our side for the most part. Um, what lost us this game was turnovers. We we were way too sloppy with the ball. We turned it over way too much, way, way, way too much. Um, and it, it was, it was just bad. That's what cost us the game. Malcolm Brogdon had a good game, um, except for once again, he didn't really show up when it mattered. We needed him to hit that three at the end, and not so much. So he had a good game, but he just needs to freaking. Show up when it matters. Make threes or twos or just make shots in the end of the fourth. That can win us the game, please. Domas, good game. Uh, almost had a 40-point game. Uh, turned it over a bit too much. Miles, eh, his three-point shooting tonight was not good. His defense was good. In fact, for whatever reason, they left him to defend point guards on the perimeter multiple times, which is like... He's a good defender, but he's also six foot eleven. So he's gonna have a way tougher time defending a point guard than say Karis Levert or Justin Holiday or Malcolm Brogdon. But whatever. Um offensively he just he wasn't really there tonight. But defensively he was there. And relied on way too much. Like he's relied on so much on defense but unrelied on on offense so much as well because he doesn't get that many touches also so um tg mcconnell pretty good night for him jeremy lamb i hope he's okay um who crap who got injured on the wizards i'm sorry was it uh hutchinson i think i believe it was hutchinson who got injured um i hope he's fine all the people injured in tonight's game, I hope they're fine. I don't know why there were multiple injuries tonight. I guess that's just what happens when you play the Pacers. Um, not that we did those, not that those injuries were intentional, but the Pacers' injury history is, no, nah, we're very unlucky with our injuries. But, um, yeah. We just we lost this because we, we turned the ball over way too much. That was our fault entirely. And it is kind of sad that we lost the last game that Fox Sports Indiana broadcasted. If you don't know, we play the Heat. 
is changing to Bally Sports Indiana. Bally is a gambling company who is basically using this to advertise itself. At least that's what I believe it is. And I think that's stupid. I, I, I think that's uh, a stupid reason to rebrand. That's just complete and total idiocy. I've grown up with Fox Sports all my life. I'm kind of personally attached to it. You know, the theme so we're keeping the same broadcasters and everything, but just the theme song and everything, like, uh, I, I'm so used to it. It's just, it's such a comforting, um, comforting thing, you know, just chilling and, um, uh, hearing the theme song and just relaxing and, it just brings back so many good memories. And I'm sad it's changing. I'm upset it's changing. I think it's stupid. But it is what it is. I'm never going to call it Bally Sports Indiana. Usually, when I want to watch a Pacers game, I have Xfinity. So I press the little voice recorder thing and I say Fox Sports Indiana. Um, I will not be pressing the voice recorder thing and saying Bally Sports Indiana. Because that just seems wrong. My brain probably wouldn't let me in the moment. So I'm just going to say Indiana Pacers, it'll pop up, there you go. But yeah, uh, it just sucks. Um, now on to format changes for my video. Um, I am going to start breaking this up into segments. I'll have a uh, little slide, little uh, cards, like uh, what transition cards. So I'll start and do it, you know, do an intro transition into refs and a little slide card will show it says refs it'll probably have pictures of refs talk about the refs cut um since a random player will always light us up um a random player to light us up i'll probably do a transition there there you go uh worst player for the pacers transition best player for the pacers um general statements there you go or, uh, it wouldn't be general statements. Uh, game summary. There you go. That is basically how that's gonna work. I thought it would just make it a bit better. It would make the, it would make the video seem a bit more organized. Maybe make them a bit more interesting. Uh, just make them kind of seem better. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I have noticed, I got, a, I gained a few subscribers, which was nice, from the, um, O'Shea Brissett video. Which, since we're back in Indy tomorrow, I believe he will be joining the team. I mean, not tomorrow, on Wednesday. I believe he will be joining the team on Wednesday because we're back in Indiana against the Heat where Victor Oladipo debuts. But yeah, I believe he should be with us that day. If it's a complete and total, even if it's not a blowout, I'd like to see him get some minutes in like the end of the third. Just the last minute of the third. Sub him in there. See what he does. I mean, he's on a 10-day contract. You got to give him a shot. You got to give him chances to prove that he belongs on the team. So, well, that's just my opinion on it, on how you treat guys on 10-day contracts. But, yeah. See you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny. And let's um, let's hope we beat the Heat. Uh, I hope. I love on each other, as in, like, you know, tell each other they love. I don't know, like, who the person is, so. The fuck you doing? The fuck you doing? Dumbass!